let us say some multiple choice questions in data structure and algorithm analysis the first is the upper bound for the term complexity of the non deterministic sorting algorithm is what can you tell me the answer the upper bound now there is order of n the worst case time complexity of the non deterministic dynamic knapsack problem is dynamic knapsack problem uh, algorithms the worst case time is order of n for knapsack knapsack non deterministic algorithm recursive algorithms are based on what is it uh, divide and conquer is it any other the answer is bottom up approach you have heard of bottom up approach because what happens here is first we try to go to the least or the sub problem which is the least and then we add them up till or we reach to the initial one so for example if you want to find the factorial of say 5 so you will calculate 4 first then you calculate 3 then you calculate 2 then you calculate for 1 Then you calculate for one, then two, then three, two, and then put the result in three, put the result in four, put the result in four, five. This is how we do it. What do you call the selected keys in the quick sort method? Is it private pivot pivot key? The answer is pivot key. How do you determine the cost of spanning tree? Cost of spanning tree. These are options for you. Please read them very carefully and answer me. Are you getting any of your choice? The answer is. By the sum of costs of the edges of tree, by the sum of the cost edges of the tree. So take the first one. The time complexity of normal quick sort, randomized quick sort algorithms in the worst case is tell me quick sort. You know very well. It's similar or uh, very near to merge sort, which gives us a very good um, this complexity. So the answer is sort of n square or sort of n square. Normal quick sort, the best case is n log n. But for normal or randomized quick sort, this order of n square. Let there be an array of length n, and the selection sort algorithm is used to sort it. We are using selection sort. How many times a swap function is called to complete the execution? Can you give me the answer? The answer is n minus one times. So you need n minus one times of, of execution of this particular function. The sorting method which is used for external sort, external sort, which is this? The answer is red x sort for external sorting. In analysis of algorithm, the approximate relationship between the size of the jar and the amount of work required to do is expressed by using what? Tell me the answer. You are trying to analyze algorithm, then you want approximate relationship between the size of the jar. There is say n, and the amount of work required to do, how much work required to actually work on these n values or the size of value. The answer is order of execution. You know, generally, you will uh, witness it with order big O, say n square, n cube, etc. So, you know, you use theta, omega also, but I'm just uh, speaking out generally what you see. Worst case efficiency of binary search. When is your binary search gives you? Binary search gives you the worst case. First, let's see the answer. The answer is log base to n plus n. We'll we'll take it as log base to n only. Okay. But when does it take? When the element is not there. So the element when it is not there. So of course log base to n you have to go because you have to actually make it half and go through it. And this takes log n base to plus one. Um, complexity or efficiency for determining the best test time complexity best time complexity if fn is equal to log n gn is equal to under root n what you are going to say about all this fn is fn belongs to gn but gn does not belong to omega n all these are for you and you know omega is what let me tell you log n and this you can take as n to the power half that is n to the power 0.5 Log n is always better. It is very good. What about n to the power half? The answer. These are options for you. Give me the correct answer. The answer is f n belongs to omega g n, but g n f f n does not belong to omega g n. That is, f n does not belong to g n, but this does belong to the omega of f n. So we'll take uh, this as the answer, which is our b one. That is the second one. For analyzing an algorithm, which is better computing time? 
out of 100 log n, out of n, out of 2 to the power n, out of n log n, out of n square. Let me tell you the exponent is the worst. Then we have uh, n square. Then we have n. Then we have n log n. Then we have any any constant n. Then we have log n. Then we have uh, below log n we have constant n. Order of one. So where this does our hundred log n lies? It belongs to in this precedence c n that is constant of n log n. Sorry, it will be a. It will be a. Yes, it is a. Now this is let f we have a function and t is n to r which is greater than or equal to 0, tn is the order of fn if and only if tn is less than or equal to cfn where c is the positive real constant for n greater than or equal to n0 then what this n0 is this is the uh, threshold value, maximum value what is the answer? the answer is the lower bound lower bound n0 is the lower bound ok, let me tell you uh, if you um, have seen this big O, big omega, theta then the, if you, this is your function say you will see this is the big O this is the omega so what it says is n0, this is the lower bound before that the uh, efficiency cannot be predicted or you cannot actually perform or say that this is lower bound or lower, upper bound. Next is consider the usual algorithm for determining whether a sequence of parentheses is balanced. What is the maximum number of parentheses that will appear on the stack at any one time when the algorithm analyzes? Tell me. Let us take it. Try to solve it. First this will come. Then the second will come. Then the third will come. So this will go out. So now this will come and then uh, after this we have taken 3, now this fourth one has come, now fifth one come and then we have this one. So we remove this and we are talking about the maximum number, so 2 already we have seen. And uh, then what will come? We have already seen up to this level, this level, now this is going to come. As this come, this two will go. So now this will come. Let us have one more. And then this has come, this has come, and this will come. Okay. So we see how many in because the other order is similar to this one. So the answer will be three because it will come at this point. At this particular point. So once uh, you reach that level, this level, you will get three of this. So this is just a uh, you know first step which I told you, I, I will encourage you to complete it by yourself. Bed first search is what? Bed first search. Bed first search in bed first search we do the level, level traverse. That is, first we we'll traverse this one, then we go for 2, 3, then we go for 4, 5, 6, and 7. So all these level wise uh, searching is there. So answer would be, it scans all incident edges before moving to another node. So same level it sees. Which method of traversal does not use stack to hold nodes that are waiting to be processed? Answer is bed first because bed first uses queues. Queue, it uses queues, not, not stack, no stack. It uses queues. Then a knapsack problem where the objective function is to minimize the profit is minimize the profit. What it can be? The answer is branch and bound 0, 1. Is also. Next is choose the correct answer for the following statement. The theory of NP non, uh, this is polynomial. So NP completeness, the theory of NP completeness provides a method of obtaining a polynomial time for NP algorithms. Next is all NP complete problem are NP hard. What is the answer? Can you get the answer? The answer is this is false. And this is true. So all NP complete problems are NP hard, but the theory of NP completeness provides a method of obtaining a polynomial time for NP. Nothing is false. The Hamiltonian cycle problem uses the following line of code to generate a new vertex. 
provided that this x is a global array and kth vertex is under consideration. What is the answer? This is for taking mod, it takes modulus. So answer is xk plus 1 mod n plus 1 will be assigned to xk. So we'll take cn also. Next is a graph coloring algorithm. Time can be bounded by graph coloring algorithm. The answer is order of n m to the power n and n m m. If you are aware of this uh, graph coloring, you will be able to understand what this n m to the n m m are. For zero one knapsack problem, the algorithm takes amount of time for memory table and the time to determine the optimal load for n objects and w as the capacity of knapsack. What it can be? Algorithm takes amount of time. What time for memory table? Time for determining the optimal load for these objects. Capacity you have to tell me two orders. The answer is this one. First is what first time does it take, or the execution uh, value does it take is theta and w. The other is theta order of n plus w. Sorting is not possible by using which of the following methods? Which is can you sort by deleting? Is it possible? Yes. Deletion by deletion you cannot sort. While for other insertion sort, selection sort, exchange means bubble sort, all are there. What is the type of algorithm used in solving eight queens problem? What happens in Q queen? You know, solving queens problem. Say we are solving this four one. So whenever we place a queen, and whenever we are uh, about to place the next one, if it is there, okay. If I want to place the third one, so it is not, uh, you know, fulfilling the criteria of not to place horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. So we have to shift the previous one. For that, we have to go or we have to see the backtrack. The answer is backtrack. Next uh, question is: the following are the statements regarding the NP problems. Choose the right option for the uh, from the following options. Not all NP complete problems are NP hard. Some NP hard problems are not known to be NP complete. What can be the answer? If you are aware of this NP non probabilistic or non polynomial type of stuff. You'll be able to answer only two. Like that is second is true. This one is true. Some NP hard problems are not known to be NP complete. So we we'll take D. Let G be the graph with n nodes, and let M be the chromatic number of the graph. We have seen in the previous question also. This is graph coloring algorithm. N are n were the nodes, and M were the chromatic number of the graph. So total time taken by the backtracking algorithm to color is order of n m to the power. This is actually order n to the power n. This we take this. This is n m to the power. The time complexity of the shortest path algorithm can be bounded by. How can we bound this shortest path algorithm? The answer is order of n cube. Read these and try to answer this. The worst time complexity of the Floyd algorithm uh, is order of n cube. The worst time complexity of the Walsh algorithm is n cube, which is correct. Which is not correct. Both of these are true. Floyd and Walsh. Worst time complexity n cube. The asymptoting notion for defining the average time complexity is the asymptoting notion for defining the average time complexity is the answer is equivalence. Apart from reflexive symmetric, it takes transitive also. For the bubble sort algorithm, what is the complexity of the best and worst case? Assume the computation stop as soon as no more swap in one pass. If it is there, then you can get a very good complexity. But in the worst case, it will always be order of n square. Okay, so worst case, the options are two, and we'll, we have to choose the best case now. The answer is, of course, these two are discarded, but we have order of n. Very good. If we have, we just stop if no more swaps. Completion stop as soon as there are no more swaps in one pass. For quick sort algorithm, what is the time complexity of the best and worst case on the quick sort algorithm? Best case, worst case. The answer is. First is best case is order of n log n, and the worst case is order of n square. That is why quick sort is a very good algorithm, um, and normally it gives uh, com comparable result with respect to or if talked with respect to the merge sort. In an arbitrary tree, not a search tree of order m, its size is n, and its height is k. The computation time needed to find a data item on T is. It is not a search tree. The answer is order of n. Which of the following belongs to the algorithm paradigm? Algorithm paradigm. Is it knapsack problem or any other? 
नेप्स प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली इट इज सॉल्व बाय यू नो वेरियस एलगोरथम पर बट इट इज नॉट एलगोरथम पर बट सिलेक्शन मिनिमम मैक्सिमम मर्ज कोड फिक्स ऑल दीज आर ऑल एलगोरथम पर बिकॉज फिक्स ऑल्ट इट फॉलोज से नो डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर मर्ज ऑल्ट डिवाइड एंड कॉन्कर ऑल दीज आर एलगोरथम पर टाइम टेकन बाय एन पी क्लास शॉर्टिंग प्रॉब्लम एलगोरथम इज सॉरी आंसर इज ऑर्डर ऑफ एन इज इंक्लूडिव आंसर find the odd one out of the following categories of algorithms which is the odd one out the answer is bin pick packing because all others you know they they follow the back track the time complexity of binary search is best worst case for any array of size n binary search is such of course log n and what is the what is the worst case this is it log n or any other or worst case binary search best case is log n worst case is The best case is order of one. Why? Because if you can find in at find the value at middle, best case. Otherwise, log n will be always there. Which of the following algorithms scans the list by swapping the entries whenever a pair of adjacent keys are out of desired order? Is it bubble sort or any other? Answer is bubble sort. Actually, this statement itself says the definition of bubble bubble sort. So these are few questions on MCQ side of data structure algorithm. We will be taking more of this. Thank you so much. Take care.